Hello. This video is going to explain about the math tools in Active Inspire. Right now I've got a flip chart open and on the side I'm going to go to my tools icon. When I click on the tools icon it's going to open and these tools right here are our uh, math tools. So we've got a set square, ruler, protractor, compass, xy origin, and dice roller. So I'm going to start with the set square. When I click on it a set square appears. I can move this around when my cursor turns into those four arrows. When I move those four arrows around, I'm able to move it wherever I need to. I can also, when I've got the up down arrow, make it bigger or smaller. Um, when it's the curved arrows, they will let me pivot it so I can get an angle with it. And you can see the angle right here changes as we move. Now, when I choose the pencil, and have one of the pencils chosen, it will allow me to draw straight lines right on it without having to get my pencil so exact right on the line. And then when I move this out of the way, those lines can stay. Now, to get rid of it, click on the menu and then close. Let's go back to our tools. The next one is the ruler. So the ruler is the same. When you get that icon of the four arrows, you can move it around. I can make it longer or shorter depending on what I want to measure. We've got our angles in there so if I move it up or down it shows me the angles that we have. When I click on the menu I can change the top scale to whatever amount I want it to be measuring and the bottom scale the same way. So say it's centimeters we want to measure. Same thing when I choose the pen and we'll choose a different color. It will allow me to draw a straight line right on it. And then if we move it out of the way, then we can come back and measure what we have drawn. To close it, same thing. Click on your menu and go to the close. Go back to your tools and we'll get to the protractor. The protractor um, will, it should pop up as a half protractor. I had it open already. So you can move it to a full protractor if you want. Now, when you have it, again, same thing, you can move it around when you have those arrows. When you have the curved ones, it will let you rotate it. And again, showing your angle, you can click on your pen and it'll allow you to draw your lines. Now, with this, there's a few different ways. We've got the filled arc right now, so it's gonna make a filled line. If I chose just the arc, I can move this out of the way. And now if I was to draw one, it's only going to show me just the arc, not the whole piece. And then remember, you can always move these pieces around. So you could make some of these angles and have the students measure them. When you want to close it, go back to the menu and close. Let's go back to our tools. The next one is the compass. When the compass opens up, it looks like this. You can choose, let's do a new color. And you can click on the pencil and move it around to make your circle. Now you can have these choices. You can, if you want to increase or decrease the length, it's simply here and you'll notice that our compass made it a little bit bigger. So now we wanna move it out here. We can move it out here. Um, and then we'll just keep the same color and then make another one. So when you wanna close it, you can just click close and it can go away. Let's go back to our tools. And our next one is our XY origin. When that comes up, it looks like this, this little spinny tool. Let's go and get a square here. Now, this XY origin gives you your pivot point for your um, object. So if I put my object here next to this, this is going to be my center point, my XY xy origin so now if i click on my tool and have our little turn here what it's going to allow me to do is pivot right around that xy origin spot so you're able to move this to wherever you want and then that pivot turns into that location so the xy origin is kind of fun now to get rid of that xy origin you actually have to go back and click on it again and it'll go away the dice roller is a tool that will have up to five dice. So you get to choose how many dice you have. You get to choose the speed that they roll at. And 
you can roll it, you can say output the flip chart. And when you click that output the flip chart, what it'll do is add these up and put that number right here. So you're able to do this with students if you want to. All right, so those are the math tools that are in your tool section. Have fun and keep exploring the math tools.